this Friday the 20th. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've had a good week so far. Let's jump right into today's announcements and get class started. First of all, there will be a quiz on Monday and a test on Wednesday. Now, sorry for yawning at this time. Please turn in this homework assignment from yesterday. Stop. Make sure your name is on it. Please turn this in. Seely, I think you turned this in already yesterday. So, Hannah, be sure and turn this in. Incompletes. Um, Seely, quiz 12 yesterday. Take that by Monday. Test correction, Seely, by Monday. Okay? Please don't forget that. All right, moving on. Um, today, we're going to start reviewing for your test on Wednesday. Here's the review sheet. I'm going to move on. Feel free to pause the video and copy that down. Here's a help video, about 31 minutes long. Now, start the video at the 117 mark. So you're going to fast forward this and start it here. This is an old video, so let's talk about this. Um, as my voice started to get bad a couple years ago, I had to resort back to using old videos from previous years to help save my voice. So, what you have to realize is I made this video probably two or three years ago, so I might use names like, um, I don't know, Ashley, um, David, uh, Jason, uh, whatever, okay, students I had in the past, um, just ignore that, and also, who knows, I may say something like, hey guys, here's the review sheet for your test on Friday, or something like that, well yeah, that was two or three years ago, okay, just ignore that, you're only watching this video right here to get help on the problems, okay, now, let's go over the fill in the blanks for your test. Please copy this down, guys. This is what you need to study for your test on Wednesday. All right. Definitions. Triangle. That's one. Median of a triangle. That's two. And centroid. There are three definitions. Okay. Theorems. 4.1 through 4.9, but skip 4.7. That's a total of eight theorems, all right? Oh, I'm sorry, nine theorems, because I also want you to know this theorem here. It's called the corollary to the triangle sum theorem, okay? So, all of this should be in your notes. Notice there are no postulates on the quiz for the fill in the blanks, all right? Now, Hannah, I'm gonna have to get really tough on you here, which I don't like to do, but, um. You were there yesterday, but you didn't take the quiz. Now, you did that once, and I told you it happened again. You might be a zero, okay? And I am going to do that. Um, I'm going to contact your parents over the weekend and let them know that you skipped a quiz. Now, Hannah, I don't understand that. If you listened to yesterday's intro video, then you knew we had a quiz. And if you did not listen to it, that's your fault. I don't want you guys listen to the intro video every day, okay? Now, um, so I have given you a zero for this. If I'm wrong, maybe you left early, maybe you couldn't get it printed, then email me and let me know what happened. But if I don't hear from you, I'm going to email your parents, let them know about this, and you do have a zero for yesterday's quiz. But Hannah, if I need to, if I need to know anything, about the situation, don't hesitate to contact me, okay? Alright, Monday's quiz. Are you ready? Are you listening? No fill in the blanks. Study all the homework problems from lesson 4.7. This quiz only covers one lesson, okay? So, no fill in the blanks. Study the problems from lesson 4.7 and you'll be good for the quiz. That's all for today, ladies. Please get to work on your review sheet. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all.